Hey, what are you doing right now? I'm drawing. I'm drawing a human, you know. Figure, pose, and everything. Oh, I understand. Can I see? Yeah, of course. You can see. Oh, oops. You know what? Probably I can help you with drawing, especially with a human drawing. Stay with me and we'll see. Traditional digital AI art. Traditional with Emma Kelia. What do you need? You need paper, you need your pencil or pen or marker or brush and you are already ready to try to draw something. And of course, it will be challenging to draw something like this when you just start, but after a while, probably, you will achieve your goal. And like you see, our brain, our eyes and our hands are able to create this masterpiece. Beautiful and so real. And right now, digital with Jenna drawing. Okay, but we are living in the modern age and of course we are able to use digital tools. And you know, uh, for me it was just amazing because I don't know about this possibility to draw exactly like by pencil or brushes with different patterns and it's really easy to change, it's really easy to understand how to use it. Of course, you need to spend a little bit time to master your skills, but after a while, like you see, it's much easier to check it, different ideas and options. If you want to change color, it's really easy. If you try to do the same on the paper, probably you need to find a new paper for you. And AI with Lexica. If you are working with AI image generation, it's important to create effective prompts that will help the AI model learn to generate images that are realistic and accurate. Lexica. And right now you see these pictures made by artificial intelligence and human because you know it's like mix everything what you are able to find in the internet and if you want to generate something you need to sign in but if you want to just search and to learn how to create effective prompts you don't need to sign up to this tool and right now, Lexica, yeah, human body, faces. And like you see, artificial intelligence prepared for us faces. And we will check only one face. Okay, a little bit better, but so far it's still like more pictures for the movie about an alien than about humans. Okay, a little bit scary sometimes. We will check this option. You are able to copy prompt because, like you see, if you just try to describe something, it doesn't easy. You need to understand, you need to describe something what you want to achieve for artificial intelligence. And right now, 
I want to change something. Clear, Polish, and search. Okay, and we have a lot of pictures. Okay, and so far, like you see, AI really like Natalie Portman, or maybe Natalie Portman is so popular in the internet. Okay, yeah, I think this prompt will be really nice. Of course, I try to copy prompt and I want to prepare that same ideas but with different person. And in my case, I really like Meryl Streep. And Meryl Streep, it will be our next experiment. Okay. Like you see, we have a few Meryl Streep pictures, but we have Gillian Anderson and Uma Thurman and other women. Probably it will be really hard to clone Meryl Streep in this way, even Madonna. Okay, and right now option generate. And if you remember, our topic is human body anatomy with muscles and men. Okay, if you don't want to change nothing, it will be just generate. Okay, and like you see, it's really fast. If I want to draw something by myself, I need to spend a long, long time to learn how to draw human body and everything. And okay, probably I can use something from this option, but it's still a little bit creepy. Is it a human? <laughs> okay, but like you see, this beautiful picture, it's AI works too. The reality is that Jason Allen used Minjourney, an AI package that takes a short description and creates an image reflecting those words using a technique known as diffusion. And right now I try to use freeway and describe what you want to see. Human, body, anatomy, muscles, and which style I want to use. Pencil sketch, generate. It takes time, okay. I don't know, maybe it's only my impression, but I think it's much longer than on Lexica. Okay. Hmm, and what do you think? I think it's a little bit better, but I am not a doctor. And the second challenge, Meryl Streep. And which style I will prefer for Meryl Streep? Okay, maybe more realistic and generate. Okay. 
Okay, and right now we see only eyes, but... <laughs> okay, we have three versions of Meryl. Will AI replace digital artists? AI art can never replace human artists, as they will always be required to choose the subject and its surroundings for producing the desired results. Even though generative AI art may look great, it still needs help from the human artists. First of all, AI doesn't feel. And I think it's crucial to feel something and to understand if you want to create an art. Thank you. Thank you for your support, for your passion, for knowledge. And subscribe. Thank you so much. Take care and see you soon.